हाई एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल आज हम एक बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक पे डिस्कशन करने वाले हैं तो टॉपिक फॉर टूडे इज एम पी सी मीटिंग सो मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी कमिटी की मीटिंग हुई थी वेरी रिसेंटली एंड इट वॉज कंक्लूडेड टूडे ऑन एथ फेब्रुवरी and it gave certain recommendations we're also going to talk about what all happened in the meeting and key highlights of the meeting the detailed discussion on this will be held tomorrow to kal ek session jayega jisme hum detail mein discuss karenge what all happened in this meeting but now we're going to talk about the key highlights key recommendations of this monetary policy committee meeting so this was concluded today like i said sabse pehle we have to understand what is monetary policy committee ये मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी कमेटी है क्या दिस इज अ कमिटी ऑफ सिक्स मेंबर्स सिक्स मेंबर्स आउट ऑफ विच थ्री आर फ्रॉम आरबीआई एंड द रेस्ट थ्री आर नॉमिनेटेड बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया सो थ्री मेंबर्स व्हिच आर फ्रॉम द आरबीआई इज द गवर्नर ऑफ आरबीआई द डेप्यूटी गवर्नर एंड द थर्ड मेंबर इज नॉमिनेटेड बाय द सेंट्रल बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स ऑफ आरबीआई द रेस्ट थ्री मेंबर्स आर नॉमिनेटेड बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया so that the government also has a say in the monetary policy <clears throat> monetary policy committee what is the purpose of monetary policy committee so this monetary policy committee aims at price stability and for that it maps inflation in the economy so using inflation cpi inflation it maps the cpi inflation and using that it either increases the repo rates or decreases is the, these are called as uh, policy rates for an economy okay so you tracking this inflation the monetary policy committee shifts these mon, uh, these policy rates this year the repo rate this time the monetary policy committee ki meeting mein this time the repo rate has been increased by 25 basis point and it has now been at 6.5% so it has increased by 6 uh, by 25 basis point and increased to 6.5% the repo rate currently stands at 6.5% effective immediately after this meeting talking about standing deposit facility standing deposit facility forms the floor rate of liquidity corridor liquidity adjustment framework so hota kya hai the standing deposit facility forms the floor rate and the msf marginal standing facility forms the ceiling rate and iske beech mein there is repo rate so the sdf and msf adjusts accordingly as per the repo rate so currently the sdf is 6.25% after this monetary policy meeting the sdf stands at 6.25% and the msf is 6.75% I repeat, the MSF is six point seven five percent, and the SDF is six point two five percent after this meeting. So, like I said, the standing deposit facility forms the flow rate of this liquidity corridor. So, this is a liquidity corridor. This is a liquidity adjustment framework. Just my repo rate is in the middle. SDF forms the flow rate, and MSF forms the ceiling rate. Now, अब हमने समझ लिया what is MPC, what is the purpose of MPC, repo rate क्या हुआ है, SDF क्या हुआ है. But what has been the stance of Monetary Policy Committee? Why have they increased the rate this time? So the stance was withdrawal of accommodation. The stance was withdrawal of accommodation. So up until initial last year, 2022 के beginning में, the government, the uh, RBI was following Monetary Policy accommodation. wherein it was decreasing the rates and injecting liquidity in the economy but since last year since last 5 6 times the stance has been withdrawal of that accommodation right to absorb excess liquidity out of the economy and the stance has been monetary tightening i repeat the stance has been monetary tightening which is withdrawal of the accommodation that is why the rates this time has increased it has increased by 25 basis point the repo rate and now it stands at 6.5% ab inflation ki bhi baat kar lete hain the meeting also talked about what will be the inflation expected inflation next year as well as the inflation in the month of december so inflation in the month of december was 5.7% the inflation in the month of december was 5.7% and the inflation of the entire year that is the fiscal year 2023 will be 6.5% which in the next year fy24 will be 5.3% i hope itna samajh aa gaya hoga the inflation in the month of december has been 5.7% 
talking about core inflation what is core inflation core cpi when from inflation from cpi you deduct or exclude the volatile food and fuel items you get core inflation so the core inflation in the month of december was 6.1% the core inflation in the month of december was 6.1% which is above the band of 4 plus minus 2% so RBI has a band banaya hua hai of inflation. This is the band of inflation which is 4 plus minus 2 percent. Right? So the core inflation has at 6.1 percent is above the medium term target and above this 4 plus minus 2 percent. What is the medium term target? 4 percent. Just say ye inflation bhi in the month of December which was 5.7 percent wo bhi zyada hai. That is one of the reasons that this monetary policy tightening towards RBI is moving in this meeting as well. Right? It was earlier expected that decrease will decrease, but the rate has been hiked in this monetary policy meeting as well. Okay. So, like I said, the medium term target of inflation is 4% and the inflation, the CPI inflation in the month of December was 5.7%. For entire financial year, it will be 6.5% and it will reduce to 5.3% in the next year. Talking about GDP projections. So, as per first advance estimate, which was given by NSO, National Statistical Office, the first advance estimate ke according, the GDP projection for this year is expected to be 7%. The GDP expectation is 7% as per the recommended, as per RBI's uh, Monetary Policy Committee meeting. Okay, so ye first advance estimate NSO ne diya tha and this was also mentioned in this meeting ki 7% hoga GDP projection. Talking about this, the statement on developmental and regulatory policies. RBI ne ek statement bhi ne khali hai along with this. This statement is on developmental and regulatory policies. A lot of discussions have taken place during the meeting, especially in which are mentioned in this statement. For example, about UPI. So, the first one is about UPI. UPI facility for merchant payment will now be extended to inbound travelers, especially from G20 countries. So, abhi tak this is for G20 countries. Further, this might expand to other countries as well. So, the UPI facility for merchant payments for inbound travelers has been extended especially from inbound travelers from the G20 countries. So they can use this UPI facility for merchant payments. Other than that there is also a QR based coin vending machine uh, project. This will be launched on pilot basis in 12 cities. We will talk about these in details in the upcoming session tomorrow RBI 247 session. Abhi ke liye we are just going to discuss the key highlights. So one of the key highlights was about uh, UPI facility extension. The second one was for about QR based, QR code based uh, coin vending machines for 12 cities may launch hoga on pilot basis. Other than that also there has been discussions on borrowing and lending of uh, government securities, lending and borrowing. So abhi tak trading of government securities we have heard but now lending and borrowing of government securities will also take place. Why? How will this be helpful? This we will discuss in detail in our next session. Abhi ke liye, these has been the highlights. Repo rate, HDF, MPC, we have understood everything. Why has the stance been taken? We have also understood that. I hope you liked it. Thank you.